what should be the action by your vessel if you experience a fire in port as soon as a fire occurs on your ship when you are in port make sure that you raise the fire alarm to inform the ship staff then you must also raise alarm to inform the ships in the vicinity seal off the fire area by switching off ventilation fans closing fire doors and dampers to that area start with the initial fire fighting and boundary cooling to restrict the fire to its own space call the local fire brigade before the fire goes out of control and make sure that you stop the cargo work which is proceeding in that time all ships should also have an updated fire wallet containing the following information the general arrangement plan the ventilation plan the shell expansion plan plans of fire fighting equipment electrical data stability data due to danger of free surface and other effects a cargo plan with any dangerous cargoes being specifically mentioned location of watertight doors and fire resistance partitions any drilling machines and special equipment the vessel carries and finally the crew list and bunker disposal plan this fire wallet should be provided to the shore fire team or the fire warden of the port when they come on board the vessel to assist you in the extinguishing of the fire the senior officer should be presented the wallet on arrival the fire warden may also probably require the exact location of the fire and chances of it spreading to other compartments the contents of the double bottoms tanks or deep tanks in the vicinity should also be known to the fire warden what the ship staff are doing and how many hoses and pumps are in operation should also be informed if any fixed fire installations are in operation it should also be brought to the attention of the fire warden the fire warden should also be told about the state of status of the cargo operations the condition of the fuel oil ballast and fresh water tanks the ship's communication system in existence the number of persons on board and any peculiarities of the ship's design that may assist the shore firefighting team in restricting and extinguishing the fire the fire should be fought with the assistance of the shore team and when required it may be handed over to the shore team with assistance and advice provided by the ship staff you have to remember that the shore firefighting team is an expert and more capable of handling fires and restricting them however the ship staff are more familiar with the structure of the ship and its equipment and may be present there to advise them accordingly